All right, NAM 2018, we're at the Reverb booth with the one and only Glenn Hughes, everybody. Hello. Thanks for being here, man. My pleasure. All right, nice. How's your NAM experience so far? Um, good. Always good. Always good. Always good. It sounds like they're paying you, you to say to, that or You something. have to rest up to come here. Yeah, not a lot of sleep here. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, first, uh, maybe let's talk about... Uh, I love Orange Amps. I think right. that you love Orange Amps as well. I do. Um, you've, you've been using Orange for a long time. You want to talk about how that, how that came about a little bit and using those amplifiers? Six years ago I was here and uh, one of my techs said we got to go try some Orange gear. And I went into a little room with Orange and I tried the AD Amps. Yeah. And within about 20 seconds I knew I was hooked and I had to become uh, a, a, an ambassador of the company. So I'm very honored to be that. Nice, yeah. Seems to suit your style pretty well. Adrian over there is such a great guy. Yeah, great yeah they're, they're all great guys. I've known Cliff for 40-something years, so, yeah. Use him in, uh, on stage in the, in the studio as well? Everywhere. Everywhere? Yeah, <laughs> literally. <laughs> even in the bathroom. <laughs> Glenn, you were inducted in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame recently? Yes. How was that? Can you talk about that a little great. bit? Great. It was fantastic. Yeah. Like, does that bring, like, you know, what kind of feelings does that bring about? There's more coming, you know, it's like, it's just part of the journey for me. It's, it's a thing that happened to me over a course of so many years and, you know, um, I'm still learning and still giving what I could give back and still teaching and still, I'm still a student. I'll always be a student of music. That's, that's amazing to hear. From I'll always like be you. a student of life. That's amazing. I think that's the most important. Uh -huh. Um, speaking of being a student, is there a, per a particular artist that you've worked with in your career of, of the many influential artists that has taught you something that's, that's really changed you, that's put you on a, a different course? Many, but Stevie Wonder uh, would wow. be the number one. Wow. So can yeah. you talk about working with Stevie? Well, you know, I did a session with him in the 70s and I watched him sing and it, he taught me how to use my the breathing techniques that he uses, very long, deep vocal, yoga kind of breathing. And uh, he, he basically gave me a lot of uh, mentoring advice about what not to do. Wow. And just to be free, just to be free with, with your vocal, you know. And don't think about the next note. Just breathe and let it go. That's amazing. Yeah, it's beautiful, thank you. That's awesome. It is. It's All beautiful. Right. Maybe a question on a lot of people's minds here. Is there anything happening with Deep Purple? Is there, is there something that's... No, I mean, um, the band is breaking up, and I am going out on, ro on the, uh, a world tour. Glenn Hughes classic Deep Purple Live. Two okay. years. Uh, going everywhere. So I'm coming to America next year. Look, nice. Love to see you all. Yes. So it's going to be... To cool. a theater near you. A full production of the classic songs that I did with David and Richie, John and Ian. Wow. And it's uh, the first time I've ever done anything quite like it. We did really well last year in South America and, uh, and Australia and New Zealand, and now we're bringing it everywhere else. Well, that's amazing. That's something we all have to look forward to. That's amazing. Glenn yeah, Hughes, yeah, Deep Purple, yeah. Black yeah, Sabbath, everybody you. else. Thanks so much for coming. Enjoy to yourselves, food. and don't get sick, you youngsters. That's right.